Coral reefs are one of the biggest biodiversity areas in the world, more so even than the rainforest. And everywhere in the world, coral reefs are in trouble. Artificial reefs have been demonstrated when they're clean to bring proper environmental benefits to the already stressed natural reefs around the world. There are no longer living reefs. There are very few of them left. But when we can go and sink something like this, it's amazing how fast uh, marine life will adhere to it and become its own natural reef and natural ecosystem. Big ships like the Vandenberg or unique vessels like the Klamagor present real challenges to adventure sports people. Going and putting habitat back in the ocean that can have sea life grow on it and be an attractor for fish, that also makes it, that makes it great for fishing and diving. In time, the boat's gonna become colonized by marine invertebrates and uh, they build a home and smaller creatures beget bigger creatures and uh, all that has to be part of the ecosystem. We want to make sure it's safe for all those creatures. Like a train stop in the Old West. Soon there's a bar and a hotel and then a city builds up around it. This is what the fish are looking for too. Before the Vandenberg was there, it looked like the surface of the moon. Now, it's two football fields long and 10 stories tall. There are 200 species of fish that are living on the Vandenberg that weren't there before she was deployed and invertebrates in their uncounted millions. The Klamagor is unlike any artificial reef ever attempted. The teams that we have assembled have been responsible for the most economically successful and environmentally successful artificial reefs anywhere in the world. Every ship or boat that we look at, we evaluate it to see if there's going to be hazardous material. We check for the wiring, the surface material, which will include paint, insulation, uh, sound deadening materials. All that stuff needs to be pulled out, cleaned, and made inert so that we're doing something positive for the environment and not putting something in there could, that could be a detractor. A lot of these vessels went down in the war and all the hazardous material went down with them. Some people will tell you the jury's still out on artificial reefs. It is not. The jury's in, it's been in, they work. I drank this Kool-Aid a long time ago, so I'm a big fan.